Well, bless you. I am so honored to say, God bless you. So honored to be able to just take a, a moment and say just a word to you about what's going on here at Salem Baptist Church. Those of you that have been with us for a while know that Salem has always been on the cutting edge of trying to make a difference in the lives of so many believers. It was in 1978 that uh, we first started coming on radio and we've been on radio from 1978 until today. Of course, it was 10 years later we started coming on television uh, to be able to share the Word of God, not just locally, but all over the nation. We're trying to be able to reach the people where they are, to bring them to where God would have them to be. Uh, New Salem is one of the first churches that built a major structure, uh, a, a major structure, uh, not just a little building, but a major place. And I thank God for that. Uh, many times churches take on the image of the age of their pastors. Uh, you have a young pastor, you have a young congregation, an old pastor, an old congregation. I don't want New Salem to be that church that have the president of the youth department 75 years of age. I want each age to be able to do some things that God would have us to do. These are some of the things that we've been discussing in these private meetings that we've had in the last two or three weeks that many of you haven't caught on yet. And I want to be able to nail it in the ground if I can. Today I want to take just a few moments and share with you. You remember during the days of the early 60s, 50s, uh, we had what we called our 45 or our 78 record. That's what this is. I, I'm in that. I recorded this in 1978. Uh, my first album entitled, I Really Preached uh, Whatsoever Thy Hands Find to Do, Do It. And this was popular during that day. Uh, then, of course, we moved from there to the 8 track. You remember the 8 track? Of course, many of you do, some of the young ones don't. We move from the eight track to the cassette. And then we move from the cassette, yes, to the CD. We move from the CD to cell phones. And then we move from cell phone to iPad and iPod. Time has changed, and each generation is dealing with it. We have five generations here in Salem. Our first generation, it's called the Builders. That's that generation that was born before 1945. That's the generation that marched, that deal with the depression, the people that went without, that struggled to make a living for the rest of us. That's the generation where we were called Negroes and we own property, we own houses, we own land, we own black colleges. That's the generation, that's the building generation. And then came the, the boomers, we call them the baby boomers, and that's what we did. We produced a lot of babies during that time. We really worked at it. We built on the shoulders of the builders. We took where the builders were. We went, we became educated. We went to school, tried to get an education, tried to get our degrees. We were the boomers. The boomers will never be forgotten. That's from 1946 to 1965. And then came the Busters. Now the Busters is a different people. The Busters, they are the reception, or shall I say, they're the product of what went wrong with the boomers. That when husbands and wives can no longer get together, uh, we produced Busters and we, we brought them up in single family homes that the husband and, and, the, and the wife was no longer together. But this is the generation, this is what you call the no nonsense generation. This is the generation that's difficult to deal with. They want to do what they want to do and do it as quick as they want to do and get away with it. They want to just say something, they go. This is the generation uh, that is now holding positions. That's the generation that, that has moved into executive offices. This is the generation that want to come to church and stay about four or five minutes and leave out. Now listen, nothing wrong with none of that because each generation has their own idea and own view of what life should be about. This is the generation, this is the Buster's generation. But then this next generation is called the Bridges. 
Uh, this is a generation that have moved now into my goodness. They have. They, that's the generation that believe that we owe them. That's the generation that believe that whatever I get from mom and daddy, I get it because I deserve to have it. And we want to deal with this generation because this is part of our church. This is our generation. That's from 1985 to 203. Listen, our last generation is what you call the Blossoms. That's 204 to 215. This is the crowd that deal with the iPod, uh, deal with the Facebook, uh, deal with Twitter, and everything else that come uh, when it comes to media ministry. This is the crowd that will sit right at the same table with each other. Instead of talking to each other, they'll text each other. This is this generation. Now listen, we need all of the, the generations. We need every one of them in our church. And I think New Salem can have a ministry that will work with all of these generations. We're preparing to launch this on church anniversary. That's the third Sunday in April. That's right. All our generations will be together. We've asked each generation to identify yourself. On that Sunday, each generation will wear a different color. I want, matter of fact, each generation, I want you to invite five people of your generation to be here on that day. Of course, we have two wonderful services that will take place. Uh, Dr. Ari Williams will be here at the 930 service. And uh, Bishop Brandon Porter. Uh, and Greater Community Temple will be here at 3 o'clock on the third Sunday. That's right, third Sunday in April. And we're going to have a time in the Lord. At the same time, we're equipping ourselves to go after the people and to have something that will be a blessing to every generation in the New Salem Church family. I'm excited about what God is getting ready to do right here on this spot of ground. Be blessed. <laughs>